Hey, welcome. My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. If you want to see other tutorials, check links in the description. Like, comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. So, uh, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to see how we can achieve uh, fog effect, haze effect in Cocos Creator with uh, a custom shader. This is uh, the result uh, scene. Um, First of all, I want to show you something very interesting. This is my uh, hang glider flight um, two years ago. Um, I want to show you a natural image of haze here. Ah, maybe you can stop here. Yes, as you can see, um, closer uh, objects, uh, objects closer to the camera, uh, will be. Uh, have uh, natural color but distant objects uh, tends to um, gray, gray color or white color or maybe sometimes light uh, bluish color because of the particles in the air um, maybe another uh, image described better here we can see the uh, close object uh, the, this part of the image uh, very close to, n closer uh, to the camera and it has natural colors on it and uh, when uh, the area gets di distant from the camera it becomes uh, orange color here because particles are uh, orange colored so um, this is everything about distance uh, calculated from the camera so uh, in Cocos Creator uh, I will show you how I achieve this effect uh, by customizing the standard funk shader so I will hide the camera sometimes it uh, blocks everything and let's start with um, my empty scene this is the 3d model i have made before for one of my games uh, in the previous uh, video you can see how i merged this model into a single mesh which reduced uh, reduces draw calls a lot it's a very important interesting topic also so we have here uh, a simple shader simple material attached to my 3d model let me make it a smaller here so this is a regular material which has a built-in funk shader on it and i just added a diffuse texture to uh, material <clears throat> to give colors to uh, these objects what we want to achieve is um, uh, make colors uh, grayish uh, based on distance uh, camera distance so we need to customize the standard funk shader so where is the standard funk shader located we have uh, internal folder in the assets uh, pane we go to resources materials we have uh, default funk uh, Pongs, uh, sorry, where is it? Uh, maybe here. I have to. Yeah, yeah. This is. We, we should take a look to the material folder, materials folder, and we have built-in funk shader on it. And uh, on effects shader, we have built-in funk shader. So let's double click on it, and we see set up here. But actually, the real shader code is not included in this file. It's in uh, engine source code. So this is Fong VS and Fong FS vector shader and uh, fragment shader. So I have found these uh, shaders in source code here. Let me show where are located th these <coughs> files. Fong FS and Fong VS include files. So I opened these files. And uh, this is vector shader, this is fragment shader, and uh, collected them into a single file um, here. Yeah. This is my uh, depth effect uh, shader. So let me show you the custom um, elements. I have added this uh, shader. I have added uh, fog color and fog distance uh, properties into the standard uh, shader to be able to customize the color and distance later so Cocos Creator will pass these values into shader 
uh, to the GPU and calculates everything based on this. Uh, then uh, I need to add uniforms uh, to get these values into the shader uh, calculation. So I have added a uniform struct here and I included uh, fog color as vector 4 and fog distance as a simple float. So I dig into calculations until here. Normally this code uh, is like that. This just uh, calculates everything required to uh, give the color for the pixel uh, of the frag uh, of the fragment. So if you if I keep this color uh, the, uh, keep keep the code like this, we will get uh, same uh, colors uh, as the pong shader. So how I can choose the shader? Actually. When you uh, choose the material, select the material in uh, assets uh, pane, so you can see all shaders included this uh, project. So my uh, shader's name is Depth Effect. Now let me put it here. It's gonna be better to understand. I put the depth shader here. So this is Depth Effects. We are working on it, and this is that part I just uh, removed yeah I just want to demonstrate the normal color and depth effects on it so built-in font is uh, selected in my material so I'll change it to depth effects and save actually we have uh, properties here fog color and fog distance so this is uh, regular colors because i just wanted uh, to show you the difference between the normal color calculation and uh, fog color calculation so let's go here and add the line actually this is not necessary uh, what happens here is the fog ratio calculated based on exponential distance uh, from the camera gl frog color dot W is the distance from the camera for uh, all fragments, all pixels in the screen. Actually, you can get uh, positions uh, also, uh, but uh, I just want to get the W. W includes the distance. So I will uh, calculate the fog ratio for that pixel, which is 1 minus exponential uh, and minus GL uh, frag chord W. Uh, uh, um, multiplied by fog distance so as you can see the fog distance uh, will be uh, determining the calculation uh, and density of the fog, fog based on the distance then uh, we need to use two different uh, parts to get the correct fog color uh, we need to reduce the uh, real color normal color by fog ratio actually this is maybe opposite then we need to add our uh, fog color to the calculation uh, because uh, for example if you have 70% uh, fog you need to have 30% uh, original color and vice versa for example if you have 50% uh, color you need to have 50% 50, 50 uh, fog uh, on your calculation this is the uh, equation we need to apply the fog okay i save it and go to cocos creator immediately we can see the effects fog color is white so everything becomes white based on distance for example if you go very far away everything will be full white and get close it's uh, normal color so uh, let's uh, change this color to see the effect much better and maybe if we can play with the fog distance, maybe 500, maybe 100. Yeah, if you want to have very, very dense fog, this will be enough. Yeah, when we go away, it becomes full green. So um, let's play with this color. 
okay maybe we want to keep think the color of, of the fog green to simulate a post-apocalyptic poison air <laughs> then uh, the another trick is we should uh, change the camera uh, color background color so let me get this green color from here and go to camera we have a background color in camera and paste it here yeah we have our green uh, color in the camera background so it doesn't immediately affect the game uh, preview but when you hit play it works oh there's something wrong let me check in a second here oh i think we should um, refresh things by choosing regular uh, shader and depth fx shader again save it try again yeah sometimes these kind of hiccups happens yeah as you can see the greenish poison air came alive so maybe we can play with these colors and achieve a better vision better view maybe we can make it a dust maybe desert dust huh? okay and 500 maybe this is better 350 i choose apply and i will apply same color to the camera background here it is apply and i will try to refresh things again depth effects save uh, yeah if we change the uh, effect here the shader here the camera refresh itself so let's play yeah, it's okay so i th i find um, the, the sunlight is uh, too much for this uh, setup because uh, sun should be filtered be uh, be, uh, with the particles uh, fog and haze far particles so i will make it a little low and maybe we can adjust the ambient color also yeah this is this is much better maybe we can make the camera background a little bit darker save it and test it yeah this is much better we we have a sunlight but not uh, strong enough maybe we can adjust the shadows a little bit for example if we use uh, maybe 0.3 in shadows maybe 0.4 this is much better <clears throat> okay so let's make a small camera animation here let's choose our camera and we can add the camera component directly from here it added the animation component here and I will create a new clip for this animation. I already created the animation folder, so I always keep things organized. Can animation. Okay. <clears throat> so let's edit our camera. We can go above to see everything. Like a director. So I keep uh, everything in a world coordinate because I want to uh, adjust camera based on the world axis. It will be easy for my for us. So let's add two properties. We want to animate the position and animate the regular angles, which includes the rotation data. I will insert keyframes here, and maybe we need 10 seconds. Then uh, uh, I will move the camera where I want it after 10 seconds. Maybe we can go a little bit that side. Okay, here. Then let's rotate the camera.
Yeah, it seems fine. Maybe we can start with a little left angle to increase the dramatic effect on the camera. Let's play it. Yeah, the motion is pretty smooth and nice. Okay, I will make it loop and exit editing, save and we are here. So let's play this to see in full screen. Uh, nothing happened. So <clears throat> this is the problem, I know. Uh, we have a animation clip. We don't uh, have uh, it uh, play on load. I need to enable this and we need a default clip to play on load. So I will find the clip by clicking on the an uh, cam animation clip here and see he it's in assets. Uh, I will drag and drop it here to draw a uh, default clip and save the scene and run. Make it full screen. Yeah, this is great. Yes, thank you for watching. This is the end for this video. If you like this video and uh, find it useful, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video and comments, etc. You know what to do. See you on next videos. Bye.